Hey guys, welcome back. Another round of uh, of stubby screwdrivers. We left off with our in our last video talking about the Milwaukee eight and one, but I also want to touch base on this Klein eight and one. Uh, now this one isn't super new to the marketplace; it's been around for a bit, but it is a nice addition to um, the tool set, and it's it's different in its own way. So let's dive in. Uh, as you can see here, it's very traditional in its design, uh, especially for clients, right? They like to have the rubber over molding, and it's fairly a perfectly circle, right? Going all the way around. Um, and here's its part number, part number 32308. And it's got actually a very nice rubber grip. I would argue that the grip is softer than the Milwaukee and relatively softer than the SATA as well. Now, uh, you also note that it has the traditional acetate handle, and it has some markings on here. We'll get in here in just a second. Um, but size-wise, I mean, it comes in there actually fairly short, shorter than, shorter than the Milwaukee, shorter than the Seda, uh, shorter than the Snap-on by long shot, um, shorter than any of these up here right now. But it does hold a little trick up its sleeve, and that is the fact that it is extendable. So you could extend it by pushing this inwards and then just pulling out. All right, so pressing this button allows it to extend. And there are a total of one, two, three lengths that you can pick from. So in its longest length, it is just as long as the snap on, which is the longest of the bunch. And it is longer than the Milwaukee. So if you guys are looking to tooling something around as far as putting the tool bag or putting it in your car, something like this is actually quite versatile because you're able to keep it in a smaller package. Um, retention for the bit is a magnet. And actually looking in there, it's different. It actually looks like it's a, like it's kind of pr pressed in there. And is that pressed? Yeah, it looks like it's a, I don't know if that's a, like a rare earth magnet. It almost looks like one. If, it, if so, that is actually quite nice, but it does have a, yeah, it has a really nice grab. Yeah. It holds on quite tightly to the bit. So that was a Phillips number two. Let's jump in the back. And much like the propaganda that you have on the Milwaukee, you get the same on the Klein. So popping it open is quite easy. Grab and pull out. All right, rotates. It's actually got a tighter rotation than the Milwaukee. So the carousel, it's actually a little bit shorter. As you can see too, the bit sets are actually a tad bit shorter as well compared to the Milwaukee. Now, one thing it doesn't have compared to the Milwaukee, Milwaukee actually has a free rotating end, which allows you to kind of spin it in the top of your hand as you're tightening and loosening uh, screws or fasteners. This one, however, does not. Um, retention is actually tight. Oh, that's tighter than the Milwaukee. Well, yeah, I can't get that one out right now. Those are actually really tight. Those hold on really good. Yeah, really tight retention. So, looks like it's your standard 3 16 quarter on the uh, flat nose. Phillips number three. That's different. The Torx. Uh, which Torx was that? Torx number 15 was the oddball out. That is... The Phillips number three is the oddball. And then Phillips one, and you have your square one, square two. So those are the same between these two sets. Fairly common uh, bits to have in there. Uh, really nice. Closes nice. Closes clean. Doesn't want to pop up super open super easily. It does have appear to have a detent at the very bottom to keep it in. So nice setup. No, no complaints there. And, of course, you could change out to any quarter-inch bit size that you want to throw on the end. Nice. And you can also extend it. Make it super long if you want. Although it doesn't sit as deep in there. Right? Because that's only that probably only lets it sit in there about a quarter of an inch. So not super great that way. Uh, you can use obviously uh, these impact bits inside there. Uh, but if you do take this apart or extend it, right, it gives you that extra flexibility to be able. You see these are tighter. The key to this actually is 
is each of these reliefs are quite small, which allows it to fall inside. Looks like it's a looks like it's got a a ball in there. So it's got a compression compression fit. That's actually on both sides. Or all so there's three sides that it's on actually inside there. Hard to see, but it's there. And those balls actually drop in right here and keep it compressed and tight. So it was a nice setup. Now, can you throw other extensions on there? Yes. But no, your standard relief here doesn't quite work as well at this. So you will get a little bit of play as you're working. So it's really a preference at that point. Once again, if we take this impact bit, slide it inside there, not the best fit. But if we take, say, Milwaukee's bit here, right, it has that finer relief. Drop it in. Actually, it's a little bit too fine. Oh, so just keep going. So it doesn't work out too good that way. It wants to just bypass it. It's too fine. Same thing with, I think, uh, the Klein's Phillips. I want to bet it's going to... That's too deep. I'm going to lose it if I put it all the way in there. So I would say... And there's other there's other manufacturers even Klein I think has longer screwdrivers with even longer versions of these. So if you have another screwdriver that has that, awesome! You get to reuse it and make it, this screwdriver have even longer reach. So all in all, and you know, great fundamentals with this screwdriver. Um, again, much like the Milwaukee, um, let's see if they have a ratcheting one. A ratcheting one would be also another nice addition to have on top of this. But for a stubby, that's an 8-in-1 that has multiple, um, obviously, bit carrying usage. Right, You could fit whatever your most common ones are inside there and just run with it. Um, but it also gives you that versatility of having a longer screwdriver or shorter screwdriver, depending on the job. So, And these ones are fairly priced close to each other. Uh, both are easily picked up at Home Depot. Or you can pick them up on Amazon as well. Uh, but I would I would definitely recommend either one of these, depending on your preference of size and feel in the hand. I mean, I would say between the two of these, let's see. We'll do a little test here. Which one feels better? And the, actually, the tail end, actually, you can rotate with in the palm. So it does give you a little bit of ability to bite and release, bite and release. Let's try this one real quick. Oh, that's tough. I feel like I get a, I could get a tighter bite, just slightly tighter bite with the Klein. But overall, feel in the hand as you're holding it, this one does feel a little bit smoother. This does tend to want to just dig into your hand a little bit with that rubber. It's a little bit more grippier. So, you guys, I'd say try them both out. See what you like. And I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts. Please like, subscribe. And leave a comment. I'd love to hear what you guys think about these. All right. Talk to you guys soon.